Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over how you can archive your lists inside of Tick Tick. And guess what? It's all coming up next. Okay, guys, so this is going to be a very quick um, episode here, um, but I just want to kind of show you that you can archive your list inside of uh, Tick Tick. So what do I mean by archiving? Well, let's say, for instance, you have a project or some sort of list that you've created for whatever it is. Maybe it's a trip to Cancun, right? You've made yourself a list. You've got all your tasks in there that you need to do for your uh, trip to Cancun, right? And so now you've come back from that trip from Cancun, but do you really need that list there anymore? Hmm? No, probably not, because maybe you're not going to Cancun for another two or three years. But you don't necessarily want to delete it, but maybe you want to archive it. Maybe you want to come back to it later and re-enable it so you don't have to recreate the list from scratch and then tweak it based upon your needs for that time, right? So let's say, for instance, we had a list like that, right? And we had a list and it was like, trip to Cancun. Sounds, sounds exciting, don't I? I think I want to go right now. And so you've created that, uh, that, that trip to Cancun. And so then in, in here you say, pack bag for trip, uh, take duffel bag, um, pack um, suitcase, whatever it is, right? You're just putting in stuff, uh, get passport, um, put cat in bag, whatever it is, right? You're just typing yourself a list. So now, um, you've got yourself a little checklist here of things to do and you check them off, right? And of course it's all going away, but let's say for instance, you had it selected in your settings to not go away okay so if you did then it would all stay there and then you can uncheck them off and then when you're done with your trip you can go right over here and right click on it and hit archive and it's going to pop up this nice little message here. it's going to say if archive this list will be grouped into the folder archive list tasks and notes within the list will not be reminded or displayed in the all section of the smart or other smart lists right so you hit archive and when you do that that list goes away into the archive list so then you can just click that down arrow and see where it's at now if you notice i already have some stuff in my archive list what do i have well i have my hard reset of my imac because i just don't need to do that right now so i've archived it i don't need it to be in my list but whenever i decide to do a reset of my imac and decide to do a complete uh, refresh of it. Uh, these are all the steps that I might be uh, taking for that. So like I say, these are some of the cool things you can do with archive lists in order to keep it um, where you can access that list later and re-enable it, right? So if I wanted to re-enable it, I just click on this three little dots here and I hit unarchive list and then it'll be back up in here. So all I do is hit unarchive list, right? And it's back. Where did it go, Jerry? Where did it go? I don't know. Where did it go? Well, it's under my personal because that's where I had it. See? And it went right back into that folder. And now I'm going to go ahead and archive it again because I don't need it right now. Okay? So these are some of the kind of useful things you can do with the archive list area. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode, this very short episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.